In six days, the Israeli army defeated and destroyed three Arab armies, conquered the West Bank, the Golan Heights, the Sinai Peninsula, the Gaza Strip, killed over 15,000 Arab soldiers at a loss of 700 soldiers to the Israeli army. 15,000 to 700, that's quite a ratio. And all this was done in six days as Arab armies were attacking them. So again, the myth fizzles away once you actually take a look at the facts. Now, my father did something very interesting. After the war was over, at the very first meeting of the generals, the very first weekly meeting, he stood up and he said, now we have an opportunity to solve the Palestinian question. We can now offer the Palestinians a state in the West Bank and Gaza. If we do this, this will be the first Arab state with which Israel will have a peace agreement. It'll be a bridge for peace agreements with the other Arab countries, since Palestine, of course, was always a central issue. And we can go on being the democratic Jewish state that we wanted to be. And as he was saying this, a massive settlement project and an ethnic cleansing project began in the West Bank. Hundreds of thousands were thrown out, towns and villages and cities were destroyed, and new towns were being built, and highways, and so on, and infrastructure to bring Israelis into the West Bank. Just as Israel had done after 1948, destroying Palestinian towns and villages, changing the names, and building towns and villages for Israelis, the same thing was done in the West Bank after 1967. For Israel, this meant the job was done. In essence, what they did was, they erased Palestine off the map, because from that point on, the entire land of Israel was under Jewish Jewish control for the first time after 2,000 years and only 25 years after the Holocaust. Historically, from a Zionist perspective, this is unbelievable, unprecedented. But in fact, this is what they did. Palestine was erased completely from the map and Israel was in completely over the entire map. This was the objective, this was the name of the game. Erasing Palestine, getting rid of the people and de-Arabizing the country. De-Arabizing the country is what was left to do. That's why when people talk about the possibility of Israel somehow giving up the West Bank for a Palestinian state, if it wasn't so sad, it would be funny. It shows a complete misunderstanding of the objective of Zionism and the Zionist state. Because conquering the land was the first objective. Getting rid of the people and then de-Arabizing. And when I say de-Arabizing the country, this country has a 1500 year history of Arab and Muslim rule. It was an Arab and a Muslim country more than it was anything else in history. So that has to be destroyed. Monuments have to be destroyed. Names have to be changed. The history has to be rewritten to connect once again King David to today's Israel and completely disregard the fact that this is in fact an Arab country and completely disregard the fact that this is in fact an Arab country.